How's it going everybody? EK1 Gaming here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be sharing with you the best settings we have found for PC when playing Hogwarts Legacy. Now we've got a lot of people in this community that have got a lot of problems with their systems running this game. I, well touch wood right now, have not had an issue using these settings. So I wanted to share those with you because if it helps you a little bit, then I'm happy, you know, you're happy. So we're gonna share the settings that we're using. I do have a 3080 Ti and a 5800 X AMD CPU. My computer would probably mid range right now if you were to classify it. However, if you are struggling with frames per second and you're struggling with visuals, you're struggling with stuttering and all of that good stuff, Make sure you watch these settings, try them out, and then let me know in the comment section below if I solved your problem. This is not just for people with 3080 Ti's, this is for anybody that is having issues. If you do find it helpful, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we're going to bring you some more Hogwarts Legacy um, gameplay. We've only just started playing it not, what, two days ago, so I'm really immersed into the story, and I'm really enjoying playing this game. So guys, with all that being said, let's get into the settings. Right, so for the settings, what we're going to go for first is, of course, window mode. We're going to have that windowed full screen. This is not exclusive full screen. This is actually windowed. So it's like playing bordered almost. So you can actually go off your screen and onto your second monitor without actually tabbing out of the game. So you want windowed full screen on this. Select your monitor. I don't know why mine's coming up with this name. It's not the name of my monitor. I don't know where that's come from, but... Hey, it is what it is. That is the monitor that we're playing the game on. The resolution should automatically come in there. It should automatically be set to your monitor resolution. Mine is a 1440p monitor. Uh, render resolution, we'll come to that in a second. And anti-aliasing, uh, we'll come to that as well in a second. So upscale type, is this is the big thing. People will tell you different things with this. For me, as you can see on the screen now in the top right corner, we're getting about 180 odd frames per second we are in the menu you know we are in the menu in the game we'll get about 100 and something um at a standard rate and we don't really get any sort of lagging or any jolting or any sort of frame loss which is pretty good so upscale type if you've got nvidia which i do i have an nvidia uh, 3080 ti uh, you can go for nvidia dlss if you like but i've found even without an amd gpu we can still use these functions here so amd fsr2 is where i go and what i do is i leave it on balance now this is going to be preference to you if you're struggling with frames then i would put it on performance or ultra performance even maybe just performance though if you've got great frames and you're happy playing a game, if I'm happy playing this game at 60 FPS, which I don't really need any more than that because, let's be honest, it's not a PvP game. It's not something that's going to give me an edge. But I know people have been struggling with frames. So if you do struggle with frames, put it on performance. If you just want the game to look really good, put it on quality if you're not too bothered about your frames. Now, I've gone a bit in between because I like both good frame rate and a good looking game. And I think this is a great looking game the map is absolutely incredible so for me i leave it on balance but you can play around with that depending what you want to get out of the game now upscale sharpness i've just put that at 0.2 now i played around with this a little bit it doesn't really make that much of a difference not that i can visually see or not that uh, has affected my gameplay in any way i've had it up max and i've had it on zero i don't know i just left it on 0.2 frame generation i don't know i can't change that nvidia low latency i've got this on i've seen other people have this off but i always have it on i don't know why if you know the reason to having it off i didn't see any increase or decrease of uh, fps or visual quality having it on or off so we're going to go with on now vsync here turn it off every game you've got please just turn it off don't don't have it on never have vsync on that's all we're going to say about that. <laughs> Frame rate. Well, my monitor is only 170 FPS, maybe 165 FPS. So you're probably thinking, why have I got it set to 360? Well, this will cap the frame rate. So if you cap it at 165, for example, so if you were to cap it at 165, it would only go that or below. So it would probably not hit the cap 
it would probably just sit below it so you'll be losing frames so if you set it to the max or anything above what you've got it can actually go beyond like you'll see like i say i've got 180 odd frame per second i've had it up to 240 frames per second on the uh, screen of course my monitor is not capable of doing that but that's what it's coming up as image calibration just leave that don't worry about that field of view for me i always turn it full on every game i play maximum field of view to make you be able to see a lot more in the open world uh, motion blur i have it off because i don't like the uh, blurriness it makes it a bit nauseous so uh, motion blur off and that also uh, helps your gpo uh, gpu even uh, depth of field off again chromatic off film grain off this is all going to impact your gpu so gpu gpu and these are just a little bit of um you know preferences really i don't want the game to be shaken i don't want the depth of field there i just want to be able to play the game and enjoy the visuals and enjoy the frames that i'm getting and enjoy the story now next up for the global quality preset we're going to put a custom um at, when you start the game it put it all on ultra for me because i do have a 3080 ti it's, it's pretty good my pc is a, a pretty half decent setup i'd imagine um it's not up there with the 40s now but you know we'll we'll get there eventually but so we can change some of these things here so effects quality now this affects cpu and gpu now what you don't want to do is ruin it and just put it on low and i've seen some people put it on low you want to have the effect of the game you know the particle effects you know it, the fidelity it's really about immersing yourself in the game so to put this on ultra it doesn't make that much difference so i leave it on high material quality again you can put that either ultra or high i choose ultra on this one the fog quality now you can put this down if you've got like a, a, a bad gpu or an old gpu you can put this down to like medium but you know ideally you'd want it high uh, ultra is just overkill there's no point there's fog you know it, it doesn't really ma matter it's volumetric fog um you can have it on low if you like if you really need to but this was what i go for on a 3080 ti high uh, sky quality again high again you can just put that down if you don't have a, a great gpu and you want to save some of that usage or vram um foliage again the same thing high for me um again it's personal preference you know depends on your gpu post process quality now i've had this on ultra the whole time but i've just flipped it down to high i really don't see much of a change if i'm being honest with you probably about one or two frames per second it's it's not really that big a deal i'll just leave it on high for now but you know who knows i might go back to ultra so we can click it on ultra it doesn't really like it you can see it just it sort of knocks off like four frames per second so it, it, it's not that um not that important really shadow quality now you can turn this down if you want you can have it on high medium low i, I do like the shadow quality on this game usually i turn that really low because i just play the game like normal but for this game i actually want to enjoy the um experience so i've left it at ultra you can put it high if you like or low if you don't if you're not too bothered about that shadow quality texture quality we've left that on ultra as well but again if you've got a lower end uh, cpu uh, or gpu even uh, change that to high medium or low the view distance again this is down to vram so if you've got a gpu with not much vram in it um i would put this at like a medium probably would avoid low but i'd go for medium at least for me i've gone for high i can go for ultra on it but what's the point of overworking that vram for not much real uh, difference within gameplay population quality again you can put this on low if you want to if you've got a bad gpu but i've put it on high again i can have it on ultra but i'm not going to do that ray tracing we're just going to keep all that off we, we don't play around with ray tracing i don't see the the, the point of it to be fair so i just keep it all off um i think it impacts the gpu and uh, and quality a lot so i would just go for off on that one now what you want to do is go down to the accessibility options now people seem to miss this out on their videos but camera shake put it off like degrease it the whole way you don't want camera shake unless you do but for me i definitely do not want camera shake uh, toggle a mode is basically personal preference whether you want that on or off and then basically if you're using um you know control or whatever you want to set your dead zones you can do that here as well apart from that everything is normal of course so you'll have some key binds and stuff like that you'll go through um i have some just for my um for my mouse because it's always key binded to these two things but generally that should up your frames per second and also up your um 
quality of game so you should see a big difference in this let me know in the comment section if you do let me know in the comment section if you're running anything different and it's better because remember these are like changing all the time because when they do these updates you know you'll go in and change your settings you'll go in and get different things you'll change your you know um the fidelity or whatever you want to do you'll go in and change them constantly when they update the game because they will add improvements to the game guys hope you enjoyed the video don't forget hit the subscribe button hit that like button let me know what level you are on hogwarts legacy down in the comment section below take care and we'll see you in the next video